I'm not knocking Irish Wish. It's basically a Hallmark movie. If you like that kind of thing, go for it. What I am saying is do not show this to Killian Murphy. Because if that whole rumor about him moving his family out of London because he was worried about his kids becoming too posh is correct, he will probably do what he can to summon the spirit of Yates so that they can share a body and have the strength of a thousand Irishmen. And then go nuclear, metaphorically. Really, it wasn't that big of a deal, but for the most part, this takes place on a super posh, like, estate somewhere in West Ireland. And I don't know how he'd feel about that. Anyways, what's this about? Um, Lindsay Lohan is a book editor, and she's in love with her author that she works exclusively with. But apparently, he falls in love with her best friend, and then him and her best friend are going to get married. But they're going to get married in Ireland on his family's very posh estate. And she gets there. But she gets there and she finds a wishing stone, which apparently is a chair made out of rocks. And this saint lady appears. And she makes the wish that she was the one marrying the uh, author. But she doesn't love the author. She turns out she loves the photographer that she met on the bus. But then when she makes the wish, he turns out to be the photographer for her wedding. And that's it. Then she wants to undo the wish. That's all you need to know. There were, however, choices made. Number one, an excruciating amount of plaid usage. Basically, every dress Lindsay Lohan had in this movie, except for a wedding dress and the bridesmaid's dress, which was green, um, was plaid. They put the fiancé author guy in a plaid tuxedo, which is a design choice. And I don't know if they chose it specifically because they were in Ireland. And I imagine Ireland has their version of tartans and kilts and plaids, but isn't that more closely related with Scotland? You know, two totally different countries. And then my favorite part in this whole movie is that Lindsay Lohan and the photographer guy are walking along these cliffs, which is fine. And it's very beautiful. And she says, wow, it's just like being in a James Joyce novel. Listen, I took an Irish literature class in college. It, it was a shortened class. It was only like six weeks long. And we only did, I think, Yeats and James Joyce. And the only book we did from James Joyce was Dubliners. But if the rest of his writing is anything like that, then I'm not entirely certain as to how being next to some beautiful seaside cliffs relates to James Joyce. Granted, if you were to ask me to find some context clues in his shit, it ain't happening. I made it out of that bitch with that C. Did you read Dubliners? There's one about some boys who decided to skip school and they run into this old dude. And from what I remember, he was talking rather uh, perversely. And then there's two guys who go to a bar and the guy wants to be a writer and his best buddy is a writer and he has a nice house and everything. But he has to go home to like his little tiny house where his baby won't stop crying. He has to deal with his life. I think there was one at one point where this drunk guy fell down some stairs. I don't remember. Anyways, none of that relates to being near a seaside cliff. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 because it is your standard Hallmark movie. Extremely low blood pressure. The lowest of the low blood pressure. If your blood pressure were any lower, you'd be dead. So 5 out of 10. Okay, bye. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Did you know Enya lives in her own castle with all her dogs? I love Enya.